Well, hi, everybody. It's that Gratitude Guy, David George Brook, with another edition and another guest of the Gratitude Podcast interview. And today I've got my great friend, Jennifer Matthews, out of Perth, Australia. Jennifer, welcome to the podcast. Hey, David. How are you going? I'm doing well, I guess as well as could be expected. So as I mentioned earlier, I have several questions for you. And these are the type of things that we can maybe share with people uh, around the world or whatever. But um, number one question is, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? Okay, well, in terms of, in terms of the pandemic that we're experiencing at the moment, there are, there's obviously a lot of people that are being affected by it. But I believe that one thing that we do is our attitudes towards it. Half full, or we can look at a glass half empty. And if you had have seen David's uh, previous video that he did on the 10 gratitude, um, right. 10 ways to be grateful during this pandemic, yeah. then I think you'll understand that there is so much that you can focus on outside of what is being shown on our news. True. Now, um, now with me, I've got two teenagers and so they're both at home, they're both off school, but my big thing and my purpose in life being a light worker is to focus on connection. And I believe us as a, as a society have lost that connection, not mm -hmm. just with our loved ones, because we're so busy and we're rushing around all the time with work, right. but also with ourselves. And so I think that my coping mechanism is my attitude. My coping mechanism is to look at it half uh, glass, half full, and realize that it is one choice that I have is to focus on the things I can be grateful for and spend that extra time with my loved ones and take the time to actually connect on a deeper level spiritually. That's a great, that's a great point. And you've always had a tremendous attitude. One of the things that, uh, that makes me just love the approach that you take to things. And that's actually a perfect segue to my second question, which is during these uncertain times, what are you most grateful for? Oh, geez. During these, during these times, I'm grateful for um, so much, actually, because I, I sit there every morning, I go through all the things I'm grateful for, and I, and I get my kids to do the same thing, because I think at this time, it's very easy to, to focus on everything happening on the outside. Right. But if we focus on everything that we have in our life, um, I've got two amazing teenagers who are incredible they, it gives me time to connect with them on a deep level. Um, I have an amazing husband who's very supportive. He's still out working because he, he's able to be. Nice. Um, so I'm grateful that I've got him that he still has a job out there mm -hmm. that is yes. bringing in an income and I'm so grateful for that. So in a roundabout way, I'm grateful for his boss too because yep. his boss is, is supporting him at this time. Right. And um, but I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to sit down and to be able to meditate and to be able to really focus internally and and learn to grow even more during this experience. As things start to shut down and society starts to shut down a bit, it can get very lonely. Right. Because right. I'm a real people's person. Go out and and socialize and be around people right. um i'm focusing a lot more on technological communication yes and so i'm really grateful for zoom and i'm grateful for all of the technological um opportunities we have out there well and that's a great point and not only do you have that great attitude but you mentioned technology as i'm watching you freeze a couple of times so i'm hoping yeah. <laughs> that nobody gets irritated when they watch this zoom it is going from seattle washington to perth australia so let's cut zoom a little bit of slack but speaking of that and this is where you mentioned this earlier and i wanted to have you mention this to the people that will be watching so how about any tips or thoughts or ideas for things to do while you're going through this okay so so things to do is one thing I would recommend is to try to avoid any negative mm, um, press. Great, great um, point. We, we sit there. I know in Australia, the news is on almost 24 hours a day. Right. And, you know, press releases and everything else going on. And although I think it's good to sort of keep updated on, 
on the whether the curve is flattening. That's all I care about is how. Right. Um, haven't had very many deaths. I know around the world there has been a lot, and right. and I I do feel sad for those people and those families that are there. Um, but try to avoid listening to too much negativity. Um, I I think it's really important that we start to. Like we said before, focus on the, the things that you're grateful for. Right. Focus on the fact that we're still healthy and right. that, you know, we're still able to function. And, um, and I like to listen to a lot of funny, funny YouTube videos. There's so mm, many memes out one. there about it. Yeah. That's a good one. So, out there podcasts or podcasts you really enjoy take this time to reflect and one thing that I really think that we need to do during this time of being isolated is to spend this time figuring out whereabouts your future is heading no, that's a good spend point. this time dreaming spend mm -hmm. this time really focusing on okay well once all of this crisis is over what am I going to be focusing on yeah I like that people are People at this point are obviously stressed. There is a lot of financial difficulties True. going on. But there were more millionaires that were created during the time of the Depression than oh, ever really? before. Wow. Yeah, more millionaires wow. ever during the time of Depression than before. And so we need to remember that there is, there is a light at the end of this tunnel and there is going to be this pandemic will be dealt with and the world may not be as we we've known it before, but I think we have the ability to make it even better. Well, I think, so, I think, I think those are some great points. And I think especially the, all of that you said were really good. And I, I especially like the part about the negative people in the news. It's 24 mm -hmm. seven and I understand we have to be updated and stuff uh, currently, but at the same time, you're known by the company you keep. And when you're hanging yeah. around with taking negative people, it's like one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. so it's a really be thinking about that. And I love the point too, about looking to the future. And somebody said to me, it was really a great point. It, it will never be the same again. It'll be different as we go forward. And how will you be a part I of think it? Different? It, it will be different and different doesn't mean worse. Different exactly. can be better in so many ways. Now, exactly. coming into 2020, we knew that it was going to be um, a big year. Mm -hmm. And we also knew that there were going to be difficulties. Yeah. But I believe that at the end of it, I think that people are going to be much more connected. Um, I think that people are going to um, bounce back from it. And I think that as a society, I think that we will, uh, we'll, we're all in this together. Yeah, that's and true. So, that's true. Yeah, we're all in this together, and it's really important that we try to keep our consciousness at a high level because that is yeah. that is what is going to help to fight this. That's right. And so avoid the negative. The the problem is when you've got family members. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, mine aren't. My kids have been incredibly relaxed about the whole thing. Oh, good. But when you've got family members that are stressed, yeah, they're dealing with anxiety. They um, and they prefer to look at the glass half empty. Oh, In that yeah. case, what I would what I would recommend is probably spending some time by yourself, reflecting and listening to all of this positive stuff, so that you can try to minimize from them. Yeah, and and learn to just to just block off from those from those particular comments because everyone's dealing with things differently. And anxiety is rampant at the moment. Oh, and yeah. so we, we just have to try to minimize the stress. There's so many meditations out there that have been specifically created to ease the fear and the anxiety associated with coronavirus. Right. So go and have a look. There's one that I'm going to find out the name of the... Um, there's an app that you can download. It's called Insight Timer. Oh, I've seen that one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it is fantastic. That's a good one. And there's... There's a lady on there that has has created all of these meditations just to help the fear and the anxiety oh, surrounding nice. it. And it's, nice. Yeah, and there's also a really good 
which is helping to raise the consciousness consciousness that's associated with this. And so it's about it's about you know sending the loving light out to all of the people that right. are suffering with this, and um, and just yeah, and just try, doing your best. I would recommend go into Insight Timer and download it. And if you're dealing with anxiety, uh, there's so much help there that you can get. That's a good one. And so kind of, to, I really like those points too. So to kind of to wrap up my fourth and final question, do you have sort of a quote or a philosophy that kind of sustains you through something like this? That I love and... I think I, what I like to keep reminding myself is that this too shall pass. Love that. We have been, we have been through so many. We've been through the depression. The, well, I haven't specifically, but my grandparents have. They've been through right. the Great Depression. Um, we've been through many, there's been many coronaviruses and other viruses, the Ebola and, and all of the different ones that have been wow. out there before. I remember when mad cow's disease was. Yeah, oh, was yeah. Um, and so like all the others, this too shall pass and right. we will, we will be connected on a much deeper level. And if you just, if you just manage to, to keep connection, if you don't have the ability and you're isolated, then seriously turn to technology where you can start mm -hmm. to zoom your friends, zoom your families. Um, don't allow depression and, and anxiety to take hold of you because at this time, isolation can be a bit bit difficult True. so really turn to really turn to to this sort of thing so that you can connect with other people right excellent excellent well thank you my dear that was just fantastic thank you, and sir. i so much appreciate it and uh i will be connecting with you down under i'm sure again soon but thank you so much for <laughs> being part of the gratitude podcast interview thanks jen Th thanks for having me david you bet